Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia, and today I'm reviewing an HO Scale FMC 5077 single door boxcar from Atlas. My example is decorated for the Sierra Railroad. This model has an MSRP of $38.95. The car has a build date of 1975, so it would be appropriate from that time forward. The paint on the car is very crisp and evenly applied. The printing is well done with only the tiniest of voids around the ribs on the side of the car. All of the lettering is legible with magnification. The car has very delicately molded stirrups and separately applied grab irons. The door tracks on the bottom are also separate pieces, which is a nice touch. Even the door handle is separate. The car comes with Accumate couplers. The couplers were low on both ends. An alternate coupler box and additional uncoupling levers are included if you want to substitute a different type of coupler. The car has a photo etched crossover platform and the horizontal grab iron is a separate piece, which is nice. The ladders are very finely rendered, although one of the ladders on my car was broken. The uncoupling levers are very delicate. The car does not include a trainline air hose. The brake wheel and brake detail on the B end are also very nicely done. The top of the car also includes an overspray pattern typical of a lot of box cars. The car has metal wheels. All of the wheels were in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model includes full underbody brake detail. There's also detail under the coupler pockets, which is a nice touch. On my model, the floor was pushed in a little too far, but I was able to pull it back out and put it in the proper place just with my fingers. One nice thing about this car is that it's set up with a three-point suspension from the factory. This truck doesn't rock side to side, and this one will. That'll allow it to negotiate uneven track work, but still keep the car from wobbling. Overall, I think this is a really nice model. I would like to see it include trainline air hoses at this price level. And so for that, in combination with the broken ladder, I'm going to take off one spike. I'm also going to take off a spike for the coupler height being too low. So my final verdict is 8 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.